welcome folks man welcome 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 to the channel back to another video this is episode four of the arkansas rebuild dynasty and some good news man i didn't broke 400 subscribers man that might not seem a lot to the big time people but for us small time people that's a huge accomplishment for me man so thank you thank you thank you to everybody man i must be doing something right because i'm i'm steady growing so I'm, I'm really thank y'all guys for rocking with me and, conti and to continue to rock with me. I can't even talk straight. But the grind don't stop and it won't stop, man. And this week, we're taking on Southern Miss. And second three, the read option. That's our money play. And why not go with the money play? If we want to trip up right there, we get it. We're definitely we got a lot more yardage out of that run right there. But good run by KJ right there. And in real life... <laughs> As you all know, they fired the head coach. So it's speculation that Bob Stoops, I don't think he necessarily would go to Arkansas, but you never know. So KJ, we continue to ground and pound on the running game, man. We gonna continue to do that until they can show they can at least try to slow it down, which I doubt they could. So but first and ten here. As we're definitely all been at the line of scrimmage, KJ definitely sees something that he likes. And he put that on the money. And Burke's out here playing boxing with that still for him, man. Let's go. The first to go, man. We're currently undefeated, man. I'm, I'm definitely liking that. So, hopefully we can continue to drive in that direction. So, and KJ with the pass to the X Factor. And then we get a TD, man. This guy, Warren, has definitely shown that he can definitely be the X Factor for this team. And he definitely shown that. And here we are kicking things off on defense, man. And just like that, the first play on defense, we get a sack, man. Let's get it. And this defense is slowly growing, man. So the next video probably will put up is like a recruiting update to just give y'all a update of what's going on, what we recruiting, whatnot. So stay tuned for that. And it's third and 16 right here. We got one of these hurry up offenses. Something I don't like. But you know, we got to deal with it. I just got to play our game and deal with it. Third and 16 here. <laughs> that should have been in the center, man. He was right there at a perfect position to make a play. And we got second and eight right here. Another one of my favorite plays, man. This halfback counter. If the blocking schemes go right, as Boyd continues to show a strong running game, he picks up six. But like I said, halfback counter, man. That's, that's probably my second as far as running plays. That's my... My second favorite go-to play, man. It's Spivey, the freshman, goes up in the middle for 10. And he definitely will be seeing a lot more carries as the season go on. Like I said, we got anybody in this backfield can definitely get the job done. But first and 10. Now they're bringing the pressure. And we get to O'Grady. You know, O'Grady is bulldozing his way for 26-yard reception on the play. All right, here we go. Second and 10. And they are definitely playing a lot of zone blitzing. A lot of zone blitzing. And somehow, somehow, we get in there to the X Factor Warren, who picks up 17. Like I said, man, he is definitely, he was buried on the depth chart, but then I seen what he could do, you know, when he gets the ball in his hands. This deck's our X Factor on his team, no, no doubt about it. And they are questioning him. That TD. And from the looks of it, that ball did not look like he crossed the plane. I guess they're showing the afterwards. Of course, we probably broke the plane, but they are showing, you know, the ball when it wasn't crossed the plane. So, more than likely, this probably will be called back. And, and it's reverse. Come on, man. Like, really? There we are, man. Third and go. We are not going to waste no time. We just going to punch this up straight up the gut. <laughs> we in there, man. Let's go. Should have gave us a TD the first time. But first and 10 here. We bringing heavy pressure out that left side. And they pick it up. All them pressure on that left side and we cannot get in there. Second and nine here. And as far as how to get more sex, how to get more sex. If you really watch this video and are listening, 
how to get more sacks more than likely any kind of any kind of quarterback that got some kind of scrambling ability nine times out of ten they always take off i don't care if they left-handed they always take off to that right side nine times out of ten so if you are shifting your defensive line to the right and a bonus added bonus to that if you bring in pressure to the side that you shift into the right side if you bring in pressure off the right side nine times out of ten they are going to run straight into a defensive line or the or blitz in the corner or safety that's coming down nine times out of ten that's gonna happen i promise you and added on bonus to that if you're playing on either the left defense end the right defense end it, it depends on if they're doing a screen pass if you're controlling that defensive end, I don't care if it's the left side or the right side, you could controlling that screen pass nine times out of ten. You gonna get an interception or the CP or your teammate gonna get a sack. Now that's my kind of. Some people know that, and some people don't. I'm just putting it out there for the people who don't. So that's just my tip of for the day. So back to this commentary. Thirty nine here. Oh y'all can have that. Y'all can have that. That's something about this defense, man. We definitely make stressing about open field tackling. And they definitely showing that. Now, first and ten here. This KJ is definitely getting smarter and feeling more comfortable in this offense. And he's letting it go. And he got one feet in bounds. Deion Stewart with 31 yard reception on the play. As he's looking to hurry things up right here. And I notice that they say this up. Do not want to get beat deep. <laughs> I don't blame them. Yeah, see them safety playing deep. They don't want nothing over their heads. Play action pass. Uh, <laughs> we make a great play and we do a horrible play. Not a good way, man. Not a good way out the interception, man. We've kind of tended to float it that we should have put a little more arm strength under that, but you know we can't take it back. It is what it is. And the running back picks up five on the play. It's gonna bring up second and five here. Second and five. We're going to stay bringing that pressure. <laughs> We're going to stay bringing that pressure. And the receiver wasn't even paying attention. Man, let's go. Third and five. Play action pass. Come on, man. Y'all in the area, man. Make a play on the ball. That's all you have to do is make a play on the ball. Because once these once these CPU get some kind of any kind of positive yards, they 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 in goal mode, man. So we have to make plays. Another read option running straight up the middle. Nice open field tackle right there. One thing I will say about it, man, we definitely are recruiting a lot more speed, man. Both sides of the ball. Second and seven here. So like I say, man, they always take off on that right side, man. Just trust me when I tell you that. Trust me when I tell you that. Got third and eleven. We we need to make a play and get them off the field. Oh, well, I don't know what that was for here. We'll take it. We definitely will take that. All right, first and ten here. Two timeouts, one forty-one left. We could do some damage with that. First and ten. They are bringing that constant pressure. It's starting my head. He is wide open for a 23 yard reception on the plate. KJ is having a decent game besides the interception. Having a pretty decent game. Pump face. Stewart. He picks up a first down. Keep them chains moving. Like second and 10. I mean, they are bringing constant pressure the whole game. KJ Jefferson. This is one of the things why the decision is made for him to be the starter quarterback. Our other starter backup quarterback could not have made that play. So he definitely brings that mobility, man. But Stoudemire, the screen pass. Damn great play call. Let's go. Excellent play call. They was not ready for that screen over screen pass. Here we are, first and ten. We're controlling that defensive end. Oh yeah, give me that sack, man. We gonna get us use a sack. We gonna get one. And another how-to, if you control the defense end like I am, don't go all the way to out to the left outside. Just kind of give them that little 
shimmy shake kind of, you know, fake one way and go back inside, eight, eight out of ten times, you will definitely get a sack, man. Added bonus. Oh, come on. You should have had that. Interception. Good play, though. Added bonus. You should got a, a speed rush in. Well, outside linebacker is, is dangerous. First and ten. We're going to lob that. Come on. Just out of reach. That third and ten. We can do some damage with 28 seconds. Oh, yeah. The X Factor, let's go, let's go to the X Factor, <laughs> let's go, man, I'm telling you, this kid is definitely the X Factor for this team, man, let's go, that's why the kid needs the ball in his hands, man, exactly why, first and goal, oh yeah, right there, that's easy pitch and catch, man, let's go, let's do it with the six yard TD reception. It, it, it feels good to be able to play with Arkansas and, and know that they are somewhat decent in the game. <laughs> Say, Arkansas fans, man, they give y'all something to cheer about, at least in this game. In real life, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> My second and eight here. And we're bringing that pressure. Oh, come on. I was right there. I was right there, man. This quarterback gave me a lot of headache, man, when he take off running. Five seconds left. Imagine, niggas. This is gonna be a here, Mary. Oh, compression. Let's go. That defensive line is eating, man. Let's go. And that's a halftime, man. And we are back at halftime, man. Second half action. First and ten here. Like I say, man, I think next season, once we get a lot more speed on the field. Oh, excellent screen pass. He took a big lick though. He picked up six. I believe our recruiting class, oh, the, the players that we got are going after, psh, man, we're going to be able to call it a lot more man coverage. A second and four here. We're bringing pressure. We're bringing pressure. Oh, we had that covered up. Yeah. He wanted to throw it to the flats over there. It's going to set up a 33. Eight for 13 for 40 yards. I said, we, we doing pretty good, man. We kind of bending on the running game but for the most part we're doing our thing make that play come on man you got to tackle that's why i say we're kind of doing good in the passing the running we're kind of bending as you can see the running back already has 42 yards so something that we definitely need to adjust to 31 oh yeah he shot that gap quick let's go let's go man And here we are, first and ten. This boy with the handoff. Oh, good cut. Who picks up seven on the play? Let's go. All right, second and three. One of my favorite plays, man. I'm telling you. As he stretches it, he gets the speed to get the edge, man. Let's go, boy. Who picks up 22 on the play? He definitely got that edge with that speed. First and ten here. I ain't no boy had wheels like that to be honest. This boy cuts back inside. Like, come on, man, get out the way, man. That was a TD waiting. That, was, that definitely was a TD. On teammate getting in the way, man. First and ten here. Play action pass. I mean, did he let that go? He took a hit and threw a TD. We took a hit. We stood in that pocket strong and threw that strike, man. There we are. First and ten. We definitely need to get better on the offensive line because Southern Miss is definitely getting. Oh, come on, man. You was right there. Like, really? <sighs> That's what I was saying, man. Southern Miss defense line is getting constant pressure on us. And we haven't even started the conference play yet. Just imagine. The Alabamas and the A&Ms, man. We definitely got to straighten up. Offensive line definitely has to straighten up. We get that user sack, though. We definitely get that user sack. I knew he was going to get one. The third and 12 here. Oh, screen pass. Oh, come on, EA. Don't cheat me like that. Please don't do that. 
They cheating EA. Yeah, y'all know y'all cheating me. Oh, you got the X Factor back here. Oh, yeah. Get that edge. Don't dive. Come on. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> He's Jude. I'm telling y'all, this kid Warren is a beast, man. First and 10. I believe he's only a sophomore junior. I know he's not a freshman. He's a sophomore junior. So we got him for another one or two more years. Oh, good cutback. Good Jude. <laughs> Let's go. That would have been the highlight if he would have just kept going and getting it, got into the end zone. First and goal here. Oh, he's going to run straight up the middle. There's a freshman, Spivey. Oh, he, he getting in the end zone clean, man. Let's go. All right, first and 10. Bring in pressure. And they pick it up very well. Pick, dumped it off to Jones, who picks up seven on the play. It's like every time we bring pressure, they... they I got to give them props, man. They definitely been picking up the blitz. Second and three here. Third quarter winding down. Screen pass. I knew it. I knew I knew it. I'm telling you. Don't cheat me, EA. Let's go. Let's go. This defense is been they been in the lot, but we will not break, man. Let's go. They running back was confused for a second. Like, what? <laughs> Let's go. All right, first and 10 here off that pick six. Another screen pass. I seen it coming, man. Come on. Go over field tackle, though. He picked up seven on the play. And I seen that screen pass coming. Yeah, they trying to move and groove right here. Second and three. Second and three here. See what they call. They have not really took and taken a lot of shots deep. Everything is kind of dip and dunk. So we could turn that up. Oh yeah, give me that another user sack. Let's go. Another user. And that's the end of three, man. Y'all put them fours up, man. Fourth quarter action. All right, man. Here we are. Fourth quarter action. Second and 18. See, I tried that in and out move. It, it didn't work. It don't always work, man. It do not always work, but eight out of ten times it definitely will. As we got them in third and long down situation, we just gonna hang out, hang back. Oh yeah, screen pass. Oh yeah, I, I'm telling you, see exactly what I'm saying. If you control the defense end on either side, and you really don't get blocked, and you follow that running back, you either get an interception or you get a sack, <laughs> like you just seen. But here we are, second and ten here, right here. That's a freshman Spivey, man. This kid gonna be special. <laughs> he drew he that safety out of these damn shoes. And Spivey is definitely a freshman. A really good freshman. And he dumped it off to Harold. And Harold picks up six, man. Let's go. The third and fourth. But like I said, the recruiting update video definitely will be coming probably towards the end of the season. Probably Friday or Saturday if I had to really take a shot in the dark give y'all a recruiting update as far as what we're recruiting what direction we going in so it's hating the easy walk in touchdown let's go so i can't wait for y'all to see my, my recruiting board and what i'm going after and you know the direction we going is definitely speed ain't no doubt about that that's the number one priority that we have growing in as far as recruiting Oh yeah, we over there, man. Look at that. Four red jerseys, man. Let's go. I believe that will do it, man. Yes, that will do it, man. But like I said, I thank y'all for 400 subscribers, man, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate every one of y'all. And we just gonna keep growing, man. The grind won't stop and it won't stop. And like I say, man, if your dreams and goals in life don't scare you, you ain't dreaming big enough, man. So always shoot for the stars, no matter what nobody tell you. And as always, peace out.